North Korea on Donald Trump's Asia visit, he deserves death London, North Korea gave its version of a diplomatic verdict on Wednesday on President Trump's recent trip to Asia, he's a coward who deserves to die. Pyongyang's state media slammed Trump for insulting North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un while on a five-country tour of Asia. It said the American president, who Kim has feuded with for months, deserves a death penalty. The worst crime for which Trump can never be pardoned is that he dared to malignantly hurt the dignity of the supreme leadership. He should know that he is just a hideous criminal sentenced to death by the Korean people, it said. The comments were published in an editorial in the Rodong Sinmyo newspaper, a mouthpiece for Kim's ruling Workers' Party of Korea. The paper also branded Trump a coward for canceling a visit to the heavily fortified border area that separates North and South Korea. Trump returned to Washington on Tuesday after a tour of the region that included stops in Japan, South Korea, China, Vietnam and the Philippines. The purpose of the trip was to discuss trade and efforts to halt North Korea's nuclear ambitions. Trump characterized that endeavor as tremendously successful, a description disputed by analysts who said little progress had been made on containing North Korea's nuclear program. On Saturday, Trump indirectly called Kim short and fat in a tweet. Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old, when I would never call him short and fat? Trump tweeted. Oh well, I try so hard to be his friend, and maybe someday that will happen. Trump again insisted on Wednesday the trip to Asia brought tangible results. Our great country is respected again in Asia. You will see the fruits of our long but successful trip for many years to come. He tweeted. Later on Wednesday, Trump is expected to make what he's called a major announcement on trade in North Korea. He has given few clues as to what he'll say. In the wake of his trip, China said it would send a ministerial-level Chinese official to North Korea for the first time since 2015. Trump has repeatedly called on Beijing to do more to use its influence to pressure Pyongyang into altering its behavior. China is 